Hi, Chris here. Today, I'm really excited because we have five of the best affordable delay pedals. First is the Muir Re-Eco, then Valaton Moon Echo Palmer Analog Delay, Flashback from TC Electronic and D-Seed from uh, Harley Benton. If you want to hear the pedals right away, click on the link in the description below and you can skip the talking. Setup for today is this beautiful Charvel Sandimas with uh, two Samuel Duncan pickups. Uh, we have the uh, TB4, the Trembucker version of the um, SH4, um, and the 59 neck. It's a beautiful, awesome guitar with split coil sounds and humbucker sounds and a smooth neck. It's awesome. We have the Andy Timmons JHS uh, distortion pedal, and we have the Hot Rod Deluxe from Fender with a little touch of uh, reverb, uh, just something like this. Nice. So, first of all, Muir Re-Eco. Um, it's a pretty simple pedal that can do a lot still. Uh, it has three settings, analog, real eco, which is a sort of a digital eco sort of sound, and the tape eco. So um, let's, um, let's go through all these uh, three sounds. First of all, we have the analog sound. Real Echo. Well, it's not really a digital digital delay. It's uh, it's more clear um, in in uh, repeatings, but um, but it's not a real cold sounding uh, digital sounds. It's a huge sound. All right, and uh, tape, tape echo. Yeah, it wobbles around a little. It's really nice. It's made the feedback a little longer. Great, cool. One. All right, Valaton Moon Echo. Um, it says it's a hybrid delay, which um, which is supposed to mean that it's an analog sound, but it has a digital uh, chip, of course, to to produce the uh, the delay. So, of course, it's quite affordable. So, completely analog and really cheap. It's it's a hard combination, but it does the job pretty nice. It sounds very natural and um, kind of vintagey. Set the time a little longer.
let's check how long it goes. nice and it's quiet it doesn't get too uh too noisy if you turn it on it's it's a nice combination all right palmer analog delay um it's also digital actually all of these pedals are digital because in this price segment it's probably not even possible to to make it all analog and you know take all the the t um, expensive and, and uh, boutique components so <laughs> Okay, it sounds even more dull. Uh, the repeats sound a little more dark and, and warm. It's, it's actually a really vintage sounding one. So let's try a little um, shorter time, less repeats and a little louder even. Let's see what we get. get to the next one actually the next two which are a little more complicated um, and way more um, versatile if you will first is the flashback from TC electronic it has a basic analog sound uh, right out of the box so if you if you buy it you get a new you get this sound actually has a little modulation on it as well. It's a really subtle, nice uh, vintage voiced um, analog sound. And um, if you, you want to get into it, uh, that's the smaller version, the MIDI version, has less knobs and you, you need your software, your, your cell phone with the app to, uh, to get into it really, to get uh, in some tone prints where you find endless v variations of, of different sounds and sort of delays and stuff. You can also connect it, of course, even these small ones uh, via USB cable with your, your um, computer and you can create your own tone print, which makes it really versatile. You have a small uh, box, so it fits on every pedal board you ever have, doesn't matter how small it is, but um, you can get actually your sound you know, from, from the small version as well. So um, let's check how it works with the tone print. I have the tone print on my cell phone and uh, just have to open it and you have all these sounds. I'm already in, um, in the category for the flashback mini and you have all these you know, beautiful, awesome guitar players and everything. Ah, what's there? Toman. Oh, actually we have a tone print. Our guitar effects uh, master, guru, whatever you want to call him, Ali. Um, an awesome, awesome dude. He uh, actually made one. Uh, for for TC Electronics. So let's beam this into uh, into our panel. So we just hold it in front of the um, pickup, which is selected, and the guitar must be turned on, and then you beam it. So let's hear how it sounds. Oh, 
right. <laughs> That's really nice three-dimensional. Cool. Let's see how it sounds distorted. Maybe I put the effects level a little lower. And feedback. You can tell he really likes 80s style solo guitar playing. It's, it's a little over the top, but it's beautiful. It's awesome. You set a little more back and then it's, it sits right in and makes your sound huge. Cool one. All right. D Seed from Harley Benton. Um, it's actually funny because this is one of the cheapest one of all five here. And, um, and it's crazy versatile. It has two presets. You can save two sounds. Uh, you can tap tempo. You can turn it off and on. Ooh. And uh, you have four different modes. So you have a uh, digital delay, you have an analog delay, you have a um, chorus -y modulation type delay, and you have a crazy re reverse delay. Uh, you have also the normal knobs, what you expect uh, that you will have mix, time, and feedback, of course. So. <laughs> That's the modulation sound. Analog delays uh, almost always fit to distorted solo type sounds because um, it doesn't get that much in the way. So when the highs get cut off and your, your drive signal cuts always through. It's a, it's a really nice uh, solution. Uh, just a little thingy there if you want to play solo stuff and you love delays. That's almost always the way to go. Little modulation, maybe yes, maybe not, but analog sounds are really nice for, for these kind of stuff. And um, copy. First mode, which is a digital type sound. one of the best pedals for this sort of money because of its sound quality, because it doesn't change your dry sound almost at all, and that's a hard thing to do. And because of uh, you know, all the features it has, you know, two different sounds and tap tempo and everything built in. So actually, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. We have two more videos coming up in this theme, so it's um, uh, gonna be the mid-price range pedals and the nice over-the-top exclusive uh, delays. And uh, I guess we'll meet next time. If you want to comment something, you, you want to share your ideas and your impressions, please feel free to do that. If you want to subscribe, bang! And um, Chris out. Cheers, guys. <laughs>